The Institute for the Study of War states it has notably not observed any evidence and does not assess that the Kremlin supported, directed or is involved in the Hamas attacks in Israel. But the Kremlin continues efforts to maintain Russia's influence in the Middle East against the backdrop of the ongoing war in Israel. The think tank continues to assess that the Kremlin has and will continue to exploit the Hamas attacks in Israel to advance several Russian information operations about Russia's invasion of Ukraine. The Kremlin appears to be promoting two parallel narratives regarding the impact of the Hamas attacks on Israel on the Russian war in Ukraine. Any future Russian activity in Ukraine will be independent of larger geopolitical events, while Western support for and attention to Ukraine will decline. And as the war in Israel is in the focus of international attention, the Institute for the Study of War says the country that may exploit the situation to advance one or more of its strategic objectives is Iran. The Institute for the Study of War compiled the list of some of Iran's strategic objectives, now their status and how Iran could advance. It includes the nuclear program developing the Syrian defense industry, arms transfers with Russia and expelling the U.S. from Syria, also in coordination with Russia. The UK Defence Ministry assesses that Russia's partnership with Iran has strengthened in recent years, almost certainly accelerated by Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Iranian military aid to Russia's campaign in Ukraine has included hundreds of one-way attack anchored aerial vehicles and artillery munitions. They have been a core element of Russia's campaign of long-range strikes into Ukraine. The Iranian regime is categorically denying Iran's involvement in Hamas ground and air attacks against Israel. But the Institute for the Study of War states since 2014 Iran has provided extensive material and financial support to Hamas.